These are not the best times for Nigerians as the masses continue to lament the economic hardship, food insecurity and hunger. It is not the case of scarcity of food items, but it's exorbitant prices. This in turn make them unavailable for many with little income. This has been persistent for a long time with no end in sight. Our correspondent from Kiadi Soji has more. Recent report from the International Rescue Committee, IRS, and its partners says that around 32 million people in Nigeria will face severe anger crisis and emergency food insecurity. These are dire moments as Nigerians lament daily hikes in food items, basic necessities, and miss the economic hardship, rendering many unable to afford quality meals. You can imagine if this one is 2-5, two 2-2, five, two two, isn't it? That's what you just come for me now. So, I mean, food, food, food stuff is very, very, it's very, very, very expensive in the market. And the the way, I'm not even sure if a lot of people are not going to die. Everything is so expensive now. Even the fish, the chicken, people cannot avoid to buy it. The fish we are selling, like two thousand hours before, it's now become six thousand. People are not patronizing us again. They are not coming. There is no light. There is nothing. Everything is so expensive. Price of everything don't cost. Don't cost. Nobody they patronize us at all at all. Everything, most especially the one they are producing in Nigeria, like beans, like beans, uh, gare, all of them. Even gare won't even cost past for it as well with the, the complaints it costs. So beans can cost past every, every. Imagine beans spent 10,000 naira, 10,5. The prices of things in the market now is so high. It's too high. We may buy fish of 1,000 naira today. Tomorrow in the market it will go up to 1,3, 1,4. When we come back to sell it, will be Wahala. Because things are very, very costly now. Prices of things are going higher. More higher than when you even carry money and go market, you will not even see anything to buy. I want to go market, it's in down for six months now. This one, 700, the last 600. The one of back, that one, 400, 300. This one, that small size, 600, 500 last. Only your students can see, look at the drive here now. 100 naira, see the tight. So that's what we face. For about market, our market not to move now. For this clergy and others, Birthdays and other ceremonies now serves as avenues where food items are distributed to ameliorate the hardship. It's now common to see Nigerians queue and scamper at events such as this to get food items. If everybody of larger people does this, the, the rich, the well-to-do does this regularly in the country, it will ease the pains of uh, uh, the high price of items. The situation of Nigeria today it will be very unfair for me to come in here expecting anything from anybody. Uh, because Nigeria, the way it is, we are still praying that things will certainly turn around. Especially today when we have a lot of jackpot syndrome. And then, so when you have uh, people like this, you can see the multitudes. Many of them, they can afford a square meal a day again. In our own little way of contributing, I just feel... It is right for me to do this. Hunger outside is very high. The rates that things have gone up is really high. But with this, it really touched a lot of people's life. And it's a very mind blowing thing that we did all this for people. With the current economic scourge at this height and anger becoming a major challenge, many are calling on well meaning Nigerians to partner government to ease food insecurity and preserve the dignity of Nigerians. Funke Adesoji. STV News, Lagos.